Good afternoon. That's right, it's afternoon. We're going to do two a day. See how that works out. I noticed uh, it, I usually get up very, very early, and I'll do my podcast pretty early, anywhere from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. And a lot of people aren't up. And so I don't get a lot of views that I probably would normally get if I did them in the afternoon. So we'll just do one for the morning people. And we'll do one for the afternoon people. And we'll see how that works. I mean, I got nothing else going on, right? Well, I do. I just came in from weed eating. And man, that's that's up there with cleaning out the refrigerator. You know, refrigerator, cleaning out your oven, it's up there with that. Oven, I just, you know, buy a new one. I, I got rid of that. <laughs> uh, that You talk about being hard on the body. But yeah, I got rid. I got rid of the traditional range. The oven, the stovetop, the big bulky thing it is. And I bought an induction top stovetop. I usually only cook my breakfast on that. Yeah, I know. I never was a breakfast eater, but I've been eating breakfast every day. Uh, I have not ate out at your typical fast food place in, in at least a couple of months. And when I did, I would only go to maybe get a biscuit or something from McDonald's uh, or Sonic. I'd get a burrito. But never their burgers. Very rarely their burgers. If I got a McDonald's burger, it was because I was starving and there was nothing else around, and I wanted something now, now. <laughs> but the prices, the prices of fast food today, something on my lip is crazy, and I, I just ain't gonna pay it. You know, I can get a I can get a ribeye steak for the same price that I go to McDonald's and get a Big Mac meal, and that's ridiculous. So I'm not, you know, several of them I quit eating at a long time ago, like like Subway. Oh. I will, I but when I did eat at Subway, I would never eat there in the summer because the place is full. I got a fly phobia, like you would not believe. If a fly lands on my food, it's going in the trash, and I don't care what it is. I will not eat it. Because you know where that fly was before it landed on my food? It was out there on Waldo's turd, chowing down. And somehow when I open the door, and they always hang out right there at the front door. They congregate. They know they can get in. The minute I open the door, they're poof. So when I walk up to my front door, I'm sitting there doing this, trying to get them out of the way. I need to get one of them, psh, them things that close up the screens, you know, but I ain't got one. I keep saying that, but I never get one. In fact, when I get off of this podcast, I'm going to get on Amazon, order me one of them. Psh, psh. I don't know what you call them. They were on that commercial. Psh. But. Subway, you walk in there, and I would eat there in the winter when the flies are all dead, but you know, where I live, they don't never die. They never die. But they leave all the lids open on stuff, and them flies, you know, you walk in, and I see them feasting on that stuff, and I leave. I just can't do it. But the last time I ate at Subway, and mind you, you get a lot of young people that are just starting out, and I don't knock that. I worked... Man, I washed dishes. I worked at Burger King. I worked at Captain D's Seafood. That's how I wanted, you know, uh, when you're a teenager, well, at least back then, you took what you could get, made you some money. Uh, I didn't didn't do it very long, a couple of years. You know, your, your options are limited. But back then, it was not unusual to be 14 years old and be a busboy or dishwasher. Well, I'm getting off track. We're, we're talking about Subway. But sometimes you don't get the most intelligent people in the world working at them. And Subway, I walk in there one day, and I, I despise mustard on a sub. And I want, the way Subway does it, if you don't tell them, they put that mayonnaise. If you want mayonnaise or Miracle Whip or whatever they got 
on your sandwich. They spread that crap right on top of the right on top of the lettuce. So when you go to take a bite, the mayonnaise is all over your face, man. And there ain't no worse feeling than that. But this girl, I tell her, tell her what I want. Every it's pretty much everything. I get a like a Subway Club. Everything but pickles. Pickles do not belong on a sub sandwich. They just don't. Not for me. And I don't want mustard. Mustard overpowers it. it you know, I don't want it. I tell her, everything but pickles and mustard. And I want my mayonnaise on the bun before you do anything. Well, she got the mayonnaise on there. Okay. They get, you know, they reach down, they get them things, and they go... <laughs> she did that right but the very next thing without even asking me she grabs the mustard and she starts grabbing for more stuff the cheese or whatever i'm like oh whoa, 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 whoa. i did not want mustard man so what does she do what would you do You'd toss that bun, right? Grab you another bun. Italian herbs and cheese is what I, I think it was, because I, I kind of like that. No. She reaches on top of the counter, the sneeze guard, and gets a stack of napkins, printed Subway napkins, and commences to wipe it off the bun. And I'm just, I'm speechless, man. How could anybody... you? Even if there was not mayonnaise under there, you ain't doing nothing but rubbing it in. And I said, whoa, whoa. She looks at me. Uh, I said, you can't. That don't work. Get a new bun. Okay. And the, the sad thing is, there were others watching her. Didn't phase them. Must be the practice at that. So that was in uh, Miami Beach, Florida. Miami Beach, Florida. If you've ever ate fast food in South Florida, you already know what I'm talking about. You already know. Because if you complain, they're going to put a booger in your sandwich. I guarantee you. Uh, you already know what I'm talking about. But if you're not, if you've never been to South Florida, never, ever go to a fast food restaurant there. Because they're not going to understand you. They don't speak too good of English. Okay, Not knocking anybody for speaking a different language. But it is the absolute worst service you will ever get anywhere. Anywhere. And it was no surprise that she was going to take the napkin. You know. And I was in the printing business. You know. <laughs> ink. You're not going to wipe something up. You got ink. You got lint. I'm going to have little little ink balls, you know, all over the sandwich. And I'm still going to taste the mustard. I think I was dumb enough to, to let her make me another one because I was hungry. You know, hungry will drive a man to do. Oh. But I remember when we were teenagers, you know, it's kind of dishonest, but we would put a hair, we'd pull our hair off. This is this is me, okay. We'd pluck a hair out of a out of a out of our head and put it in the burger after we ate about half of it, and then we'd take that up to the counter, you know. Say, hey man, there's a hair in it. So I do this. I pull the hair, put it in the burger. It was Arby's. It was Arby's. It was not a burger. It was a roast beef sandwich. And I'd take it, and this was in Tulsa, and I'd take it up there. Got my hair in there. My hair was lighter than it is now. And she looks at it, and I said, man, there was a hair in my, in my sandwich, my roast beef. And she looks. She goes, it ain't our hair. And I look around. They're not white. They don't have hair like me. <laughs> But she gave me a free one anyway. So I never played that trick again. You know, teenage, we, we'd do all kinds of stuff. You know, pranking, innocent stuff. But back then, that sandwich was probably a dollar and a quarter. 
Well, yeah. Well, we've, you, you know, everybody's had the experience where you pull up into a drive through and you don't check your bag, and sure as hell, they forgot your fritter or they forgot your fries. It never fails, man. So make sure you're the butthead in front of the, you know, you get behind them. I don't really toot the horn at them because I know they're checking their stuff to make sure they got everything. And, yeah, well, you know what happens to me? Usually, I order an unsweet tea, and I'll grab that, set it in a drink holder. I'll check my food. It's all in there, man. They did good. I pull off. I take a sip of my tea, and I'm like, it's sweet. Or it's Dr. Pepper or something. Every time. Yeah, I just never drank sweet tea, and to me, that's like poison when I take a big... If you know what's in there and you're taking a sip, then you know what to expect. But if you, you're expecting unsweet or you're expecting tea and you get Dr. Pepper, yeah, that's a shock, man. All right. Well, I've yapped long enough. You know, I got to come up with stuff. Silly things like that, life experiences. We've all had them. So... Look forward to, you know, a morning one. And I'm going to try to put the morning ones up maybe about 8 o'clock. They're not doing so hot when I post them at 6 in the morning. Or it could be the subjects. And just because I got something titled in there, you know, in the in the thumbnail, doesn't mean that's what the whole thing is about. Pretty much this morning's was. But check it out for a minute. You never know. I may not only talk about that for one minute. When you're making a thumbnail, you just got to try to be creative, and that's what I do. Uh, but if you like these, let me know. Subscribe, like, do all that hocus-pocus, whatever you do. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.